welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft today's adventure leads us back to the bfa expansion where we are actually in the battle for dark shore the dungeon scenario and uh, i've actually made my way out of bounds in the map and we're gonna go take a look at uh, what was tedrasil um but now it's just a giant floating png in the water the and uh, <laughs> With something that's really interesting out here is uh, you can see that under the water here is actually the outline of the tree and where everything normally would be. So we are really up close to the tree now. Normally you can't do this in the retail world, uh, but because we're in a dungeon, because we're in a scenario, we are able to get up close to the tree and we're going to take a look around and see what's actually out here. Now, just to prove to you guys, this is what exactly is going on. I am actually in Teldrassil, and uh, right now you can see I'm underneath the map, supposedly, quote-unquote. Um, but we're going to go take a look inside the tree here. Now, check this out. We are officially behind the floating, quote-unquote, tree that is supposed to be out here. Now, what was pretty funny was uh, earlier when I was looking out over here, there was actually like a glitched version of the tree that was sitting out here and the whole model was like loaded it looks like it disappeared unfortunately but uh here we are so you can see exactly behind the burnt tree or that what was the tree there's nothing here um but what's funny is that you can see the ground markings where there's supposed to be like a tree out here and you can see like the tree out in the distance there let me stop for a minute you can see like where the ending of the tree like comes down so the tree just isn't here <laughs> well it is here but it's not here so i don't know i thought that was kind of funny though but i've always wanted to get back here and see exactly what is back here i'm gonna take actually a screenshot under the water here which is really interesting but uh we're gonna keep making our way out here and we're gonna get way behind over here and actually, back in the day, this is where GM Island used to be, way out here in the distance. You would go way out here in the distance, all the way off the shore, like right over here, there would be GM Island, if I remember correctly. I uh, used to be able to glitch and actually get back there. So, I don't know. This is pretty interesting, though. You normally don't get to see this. I love seeing, like, all the markings on the ground, where everything is normally supposed to be when you're actually in the tree. Now here, actually, what's really interesting is this is actually entering into Darnassus, I believe. So you can see the walkway going in, coming out of Tedrasil. And, uh, <laughs> which I thought was really interesting. Yeah, this would be uh, Darnassus we're currently walking into. So pretty neat stuff. Um, I wonder if we... Ah, I'm kind of afraid to jump off my mount because I don't know if we're going to like glitch out or anything. Um, we might actually DC because we're not technically ever supposed to be out here. So I'm going to take a picture of this. There we go. Look at that. So we're actually currently in Darnassus. And you can see like where all the model buildings are supposed to be with the markings on the map and... There's actually the edge of the uh, tree here. So pretty neat stuff. I've never been back here. I've always wanted to get back here. Um, just to see what is exactly out here. And there you guys go. That is what's out behind the burnt tree in Dark Shore. So let's actually zoom in here. Check out that. We got behind it completely. Pretty cool. So you can see Blizzard did a great job of just doing like a smoke and mirror effect of what 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 actually was. And actually speaking about the Battle of Dark Shore, if you get out of the map, the whole continent of Kalimdor is actually out there. You can go freely explore um, without having to uh, deal with NPCs. So I think currently we're in fatigue. Yeah, we're in fatigue. We're going to keep going out this way. And it looks like we have finally made it really far outside the map now now we got the whole tree in the distance here so pretty neat stuff i uh never thought i would ever see out past here and i've been trying to get out here for a long time but 
I just never thought that would actually ever going to happen. So if you guys ever wanted to see what was way out here in the distance, this is it. So pretty cool stuff. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you what was actually back here behind the tree. We're going to continue the next video actually breaking out of the uh, Dark Shore scenario. And I'll take you around Kalimdor and show you what's actually outside. But I believe the whole continent is actually there for you to freely explore. So have fun with this one. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. What's really crazy is my game is freaking out to a point where you can see here in the distance that, you know, the burned tree that was burned down in BFA, it's acting like the model is still in the back here. Look at this. I've never seen that before. There's <laughs> the battle for dark shore is glitching out to a point where it's still showing the tree is still there, but it's actually burned down and gone. Isn't that a trip? Look at that. You can see the tree in the back here. It's not supposed to be there. So, I don't know. I thought that was interesting.